Rose Court. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites. All right, coming back to you with another walk and talk. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. And uh, salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And uh, basically, we're going to go into uh, a quick lesson about yeah. how destruction yeah. is going to come upon the wicked. All right, it's mainly the wicked of our people. All right, and it's going to also consist of the destruction upon the wicked of all the heathen, man. Because they are the wicked, man. Yeah, all right? top being Esau Edom, so called white people. Con. And, they, and we're here, uh, we're out on the forefront telling them what's coming, but they're not hearkening. So when that destruction comes, it's going to be upon them. And they're gonna, they have no one to blame but themselves. Uh -huh. See, this is, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 19 and 1. It says, As for the ungodly, wrath came upon them without mercy. It says, Unto the end. Hey, so that judgment without mercy that showed no mercy. That's right. It says, It says, For he knew before what they would do, how that having given them leave to depart, and sent them and sent them hastily away, they will repent and pursue them. For while as they were yet mourning and making lamentation at the graves of the dead, they added another foolish device and pursued them as fu fugitives whom they had entreated to be gone. Verse four, here's the point. It says, Oh, it's so flocky. God. Solomon 19 and 4 for the destiny whereof they were worthy <laughs> drew them unto this end and made them forget the things that had already happened that they might fulfill the punishment which was wanting the, to their torment man so all the all the things we're doing and telling you people on the highways and byways man is for specifically to you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans we're telling you this so you can live through this this, this time coming man all right, so you have a, a, a you have some kind of sense of I'm gonna get out of this. All right, if I depend on the Lord. All right, we, we're trying to give you that uh, that that initiation into to, to your ticket, man, of getting out of here, man. And a lot of our people they don't want to listen. They want to stay on their wickedness. They want to they want to continue in their lifestyles of death. All right, because everybody every all the all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, your life is unprofitable. You don't do anything <laughs> day in and day out but stupidity. And, any, and everything that's uh, contrary to, to, to life. Right, they full, yeah, they all into fucking folly all the damn time. Yeah, all the time. Hey, you get that um, second edge of 15. Con. And um, I guess you start at one. Con. You had something about? Oh, uh, well, uh, this, okay. this is second edge is 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's what we're doing. Yep. We're doing that right now, man. Con. All right. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Which is the scriptures, man. That's right. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Yeah, let not the incredulity of them trouble, trouble thee. Which means they, they, they unbelief, man. That's right. It says... For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, so they just gonna die any damn way. We did our job and told told you what it is. We warned you what's to come. Damn. Fuck this train got come every goddamn two two seconds, man. Three again. This second Ezra is fifteen. You started three again. Con second Ezra is fifteen and three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Yeah, so don't, don't get all messed up because these niggas don't want to believe. And actually, actually, that's a good thing. That make your chances that much greater. That's right. You know? Uh, so, so I'm, I'm all about myself getting to love and a hopeful, righteous elect, right. man. Right. Hell with everybody else, man. That's right. Because the scriptures say majority of our people ain't going to believe no way. Uh, you can get the, uh, let the multitude perish. Yeah, yeah so it said... Let not their unbelief trouble thee, man. For for the most high, it's gonna pre what's it? So they, read that again. Con, this second Ezra is 15 and uh and 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. 
Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, mm -hmm. uh, that speak against thee. Yeah, which majority of people gonna speak against us. Yep. And you already know the heathen nation gonna speak against you. Done. It says, behold, it says, verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, so the Lord's gonna put them to death. That's Any right. damn way, man. That's right. Okay. It's only a matter of Right, so we, we told them the word, so now it's no cloak for their sins. Now the Lord has a reason to put a foot in their ass and jack their ass up, man, when the time comes. Whatever he sees fit, man, Con. to do to them, man. Con, I, I got it. I'm going to go down in the chapter if I may. Con, what? This is 2nd Ezra 15. See, that shit is safe, man. Every minute. 2nd Ezra 15 and 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Which is talking about Israel, because we yep. give them the covenant. Yeah. So only Israel could sin, man. That's right. It says, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. That's what's coming and, and that's, that's, that's coming. That's what's coming. That's what we're trying to, uh, uh, that's what we're trying to have you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans avoid, man. Death and destruction. But if you don't want to hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the Lord is going to deliver you to de uh, death and destruction, man. It's no other way to cleanse you, man. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. You, yeah. Shit. That shit. That shit. You did it to yourself, man. You did it to yourself? That's because, oh, man, somebody look like you telling me this, man. If, if my daddy Esau ain't telling me this, it can't be true. Con. And that's, that's that strong delusion that's on you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All throughout the scriptures, uh, 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 the Lord raised up people within his people to tell his people yeah, yeah. to get right or I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, because we ain't got no power, man. Because people listen to who is in power. Kind. Say people mean seek the ruler's favor. Kind. That's right. If I may, uh, this is Job chapter 31 real quick. I'm going to grab that one too. Kind. Job 31 and 3. Is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity? Kind, you know what I'm saying? Because two-thirds of our own people... They love working in iniquity, man. All right, and they're gonna get that same punishment that Esau Edom gets. Um, all right, so let them be dismayed. All right, this is a uh, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse twenty-two. So let the multitude perish then, which were born in vain. Exactly, and that's two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Simple. Because you, 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 you continue to not hearken to this word, it don't vibe with your spirit, that means you're born in vain. And the Lord said, let the multitude perish of them that are born in vain, man. Them that don't keep the laws, them that do whatever they want, live life as that, that uh, do it thou will spirit, man. Yeah, you know? like your daddy Esau. Just like, it, it's just yeah. like Esau, man. Yep. J, uh, John 8 and 44, man, you're of your father the devil, man. Right. You cannot come out of his ways and come back into your own, uh, your own uh, nationality's ways, your own culture, man. Because you, uh, you, a lot of you Israelites are devils, man. Puerto Rican devils, black devils, Native American devils, Mexican devils, Mexican devils yeah. West Indian devils, John 8 and 44, year of your father the devil, which is why you can't come out of his ways. Yeah, we did a video on that. Two-thirds are the devil just like their daddy Esau. Gun. Gun. Fucking, yeah, you, you're from Cain, motherfucker. Gun. And they don't want to listen to the law, so right. what's going to be that punishment, man? You're going to get the just due for not listening, man. You're gonna get your punishment for and your and your and your recompense for being disobedient and being rebellious, man. That's what we're trying to tell you. We're trying to tell you to stop doing what you're doing, man. But you don't want to hear because it's coming from people that look like you, man. Yeah. People that have been through the things you've been through, man. They're too uh, proud to be humble. You yeah, know they're what too proud. Because they they see someone of their own tribe, they're not gonna hearken to them, man. Because like the elder said, we don't have the power, right? We don't have the financial resources of this kingdom. This isn't our kingdom. This isn't our rest, all right? So that's why they see, you know, Esau eat them, man. That train came about like, about what, 20 times all damn rich? Yeah, you all throughout the day, man. You know? But nothing's gonna hinder us t telling uh, our people the truth, man. You yes, know? They can do whatever you want to do. Exactly. We got it. The Lord, he, he told us to come out and teach you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to warn you. All right, give them warning from me. We're giving you warning from from your power, man. Okay, from a higher entity, man. That's how we have the spirit and the understanding, the eyes out. We weren't given this because of our own will. We were given this by by prophecy, man. What it says in the scriptures, man. Yeah. You know, and and you want to be people that don't listen. You're gonna get the just due of all the bad things that happen to people that sin, man. 
which is what we're trying to tell you, man. Uh, higher power is, is, is about to return, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That day of destruction. The day of destruction. Yeah. Is, is Job 21 and 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Okay. Which shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. You know, okay. what's that day, man? That's the transitioning of, of Esau Edom's kingdom to the kingdom of heaven, man. To Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and the Israelites. Yeah, kingdom. yeah. God. Right? And you two thirds are included in that, man. Yeah. You know, because you're the wicked too, man. That's right. Yeah, that's talking about Esau, Edom, too, and the other heathen nations, man. And why is that? It should not be, but today, is not all Israel is Israel today. Right. And that's why it is, man. Two-thirds of our own people are going to perish with the wicked, man. All right? And, they're, you know, the Lord's going to have mercy on you. All right? And you're going to come back, you know, in the kingdom, man. You know, Lord willing, we, we bring you forth through our through our rod. You know what I'm saying? We have made children. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, you're going to be destroyed with Esau, Edom, man, because you don't want to hearken. To the truth, to man, the to truth. the truth. Beautiful truth. All right? You rather hear a sweet lie, man, because it makes you feel good inside. No, the man, the truth is going to cut you, man. That cut is going to build you up, man. But you don't want that, man. Yeah, they don't like to be reproved. They hate them that break it in the gate, man. Yeah. They don't nobody like to be told that they going off, man. Good. Please rebuke me. Tell me that I'm going off, man. It's a fearful thing to, be, uh, to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. You guys don't understand that, man. That's why, hey, that's why they, they hate reproof. That's why, that's what it's all about, man, because mm -hmm. reproof, man, you know. Correction. That's the correction, man. Yep. And the majority of people don't like to be corrected. That's why the Lord's going to destroy them. Son, I got, I got one right here. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For the Most High shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. You know, so the Lord ain't gonna deliver you out of all the things that were uh, prophesying to happen, man. All right, race riots, famine, all right, martial law, okay, uproars of the people, war. The Lord said he's gonna deliver you unto them. I mean, and also he's not gonna take you out of them, man. He's gonna let you pine away and perish in these in these plagues that he's gonna send upon the earth, man. Why? Because you don't wanna listen. You won't simply uh, stop your day, all right, and figure out who you are, man, instead of calling yourself black. Which is a color, man. You don't want to figure out why your life is the way it is. You don't want to figure out why our people are in a low condition. Because you're reprobates. And you were born in vain like the brother brought out, man. And that's why in these end days, all right, we're prophesying yeah, unto you. Yeah, but you know, you know, it was it was prophesied you wouldn't listen. So therefore, we know you not listening and you taking it as a joke is going to get you destroyed, man. Thus saith the scriptures. Yes, that's, that's a scoffer, man. Gun. Somebody who mocks and take, and take the truth lightly, man. Exactly. This is Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they. Which obviously our two thirds, our people don't have wisdom, man, because they don't feel right. the most side, man. Yeah, exactly. A, a, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments, right? Do his commandments. You gotta keep the laws and his commandments. His praise endures forever, man. All right? So the Lord's gonna first try you when you come into this faith, all right? Sirach uh, two and one, you know. But uh, um, but you keep your commandments, you, you know. You keep the law, and your commandments to the best of your ability. And he's gonna give you that increase, man. All right. Oh, you get Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. Come. Okay. You had something. But we're gonna end it. Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, Ooh, but yep. he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, man. And the Most High is not a man to lie, man. So you endure all the way to the end, man, because there's a reward at the end of this thing, all right? God, it says those that despise the words of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You ain't come, we speaking the words of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. That's what these knuckleheads don't understand. You really come up against Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. You're not coming up against us, man. This is not our own opinions. We speaking the mind of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Kind because of, why? Why Esau Edom has him desensitized to? Oh, that's the Bible. All right, no man, it's the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it's not just the Bible. All right, this is the word of the living power, man. Our power, man. Kind of. well, that's it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, because those those are people which majority of our people are gonna come up against the word. You know, that, that means the Lord, there's no cloak for their sins, like saying John 15 and I believe 22. You know, so the Lord has a reason to destroy their ass, man. Yeah. It's going to be righteous. Righteous. Which, which y'all, 
what y'all getting ready to go through, man. What the Lord getting ready to put you through, man. Yeah. For despising his words and won't continue to go off and rebel against against the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. You close our reply. Kind, kind. So Lord willing, we uh we hope that was edifying. We want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Prokach, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and abide Babal. Shalom, abide Babal. Shalom. Shalom.